Hi everyone, my name is Lila Jimenez, and as you may know by the posters around school, I'm running for athletic coordinator. If I were elected to be athletic coordinator, I think I would be great at this position because I play so many sports and I have been for such a long time. I have great leadership skills due to my strength in working in groups and getting things done. If I become athletic coordinator, I will set up fun and entertaining activities that I think would be great for all the students that are attending CUNYA and giving a warm welcome to the sixth graders who are coming in for the new year. I want everybody to be happy and just seeing smiles on people's faces because I just love everybody being together. Thank you. Hello, my name is Aretzia, aka Calamari. I enjoy sports. I could be having the worst day, feeling stressed, sad, mad, and even humiliation. And the best way to get rid of all of that is by going outside and doing something you love, like sports. There's no doubt that sports make you feel at least a little bit better every day before you go to bed. It's also a great distraction from all the troubles in life. I understand the adrenaline and excitement one feels when you do something that makes them feel amazing and unstoppable. Being athletic coordinator is something that I know I can do well. I am very organized and I can definitely help keep track of every sport that's going on in Cunha. And surprisingly, I have enough time in my calendar to do so. Thank you, vote Calamari. Hello, my name is Sydney Menz and I'm running for athletic coordinator. I am running for athletic coordinator because I love playing sports. I've played soccer, softball, basketball, and volleyball. I've also done ballet, gymnastics, and swim. Some things that I like to do in my free time is hang out with friends and cousins. I also love going to the beach and going on walks. Now that you know about me, I will talk about what I would do with the position as athletic coordinator. I would do fun activities at lunch, activities like soccer, kickball, volleyball, and basketball, and other activities like daily races and obstacle courses. I would also consider doing things that are recommended by other students. One reason you should vote for me is because I care about the other students at the school's opinions and care about if they're having fun. Another reason you should vote for me is because I can contribute good ideas for lunch activities. I believe in order to be an athletic coordinator, you need to be organized and want to help out as much as you can. I believe I can follow those criteria and be a good athletic coordinator for this coming up school year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sophia Tatsaronis and I'm running for athletic coordinator. Please don't underestimate me, that's my mother's job. I've been doing sports my whole life and I've tried out many different sports and been on many different teams. I think that CUNY's athletic coordinators should have a lot of experience in sports and I believe that's me. And I mean, I've only ever been wrong once and that's when I thought I was wrong. I'm an easy person to talk to and I'll listen to any requests you have. I'm also always up for a good time and will make sure CUNY activities will be very entertaining and exciting for everyone. As you know, most of us haven't been able to have a normal middle school experience and because of that, we've missed out on a lot of activities. Next year, I'd like to take all that back and make sure that everyone will be having the most fun they possibly can while doing community activities. I'd also be more than happy to help students try out for sports they've been wanting or thinking about doing. As your athletic coordinator, I make sure to set up activities that everyone can enjoy and have a lively time with. My overall goal is to make sure you, will, you guys will be having a fun time interacting with one another. If you want things to go your way, vote for Sophia today. My name is Colette Duvall, and I'm running for treasurer. I love saving money, and of course, I love spending it too. I'm great at math, and I will be a great treasurer. I will help the leadership team make smarter purchases so we can get more for our money. And I have a lot of ideas about how to make school life better and more cost efficient. For example, I'd like more decorations and better food for the dances. Also, I'm committed to offering more snacks options at the Cub store for better prices. So don't forget, vote for Colette. My name is Valentina Marzoka. Some of you may know me as Tina. Today, I'm going to tell you why you should vote for me for treasurer. The first reason why you should vote for me is I'm a trustworthy and honest person. I will do everything in my power to make sure all students are heard and are always aware of how all of our money is being spent. Working with money is not only a hobby of mine, it's a passion. I will make sure being treasurer is my main priority. If you know me, you know I always have a bag of coins on me because every cent counts. I love the idea of helping our school raise money and being the one responsible for it. As a kid, I would get so excited to run a lemonade stand because I would love to count the money and see the profit. Not only do I have the necessary qualities, I plan to t dedicate time and effort to this role. 
It would be a challenge I would love to take on. Vote Tina and put the T in treasurer. Hello, Kenya students. My name is Cora Myers, and I'm stoked to run for the position of treasurer. As with most 7th graders, we did not truly have a first year here at Cunha. We did not get the opportunity to go to outdoor ed, nor experience what it would be like to, to step on campus for the first time and have seven classes to make sure to show up on time for. While this school year we were all on campus, there were a few limitations during lunch, assemblies, and a general cohesiveness to the student body. This is why it is so important to me to make sure this next school year is the best year it can be. We have the opportunity to make great change for our school community and bring it back to a place we are all proud to be a part of. I want to be in office. I want the responsibility it brings. I want to be a part of the leadership team throughout the entire school year. And most importantly, I want to help all students enjoy their time here at Cunha. As you know, there are many ups and downs during middle school. That's a part of life. But I believe we can make it a better experience for all. I propose more assemblies where we can get together. I propose more field trips for all grade levels. Field trips and assemblies are exciting and it gives us all something to look forward to. I propose a larger variety of snacks at break and lunch that are not only good to eat but also healthier options we can enjoy. I propose making our campus more beautiful so that we can spend more time outside on the field with our friends and create a culture we are all proud of. For all these reasons, I want to be a part of the leadership team and being in the position of treasurer, I can see that funds are spent wisely to ensure fun activities, assembling, assemblies, field trips, campus beautification, leadership plans, and more. This is my hope for next year. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope you all agree that I'm the best candidate for treasurer, treasurer to make 2022 to 2023 the best year it can be. Thank you. Hi everyone. For those that don't know me, my name is Andrea Lorenko, and I am running for secretary. Over the past two years, I've participated in as many school activities as I can, such as sports teams, spirit activities, and the Super Bowl. I played volleyball and soccer for Cunha, and I enjoy hanging out with my friends and family. My friends have described me as independent, nice, understanding, and funny, thanks to Viv and Mackenzie. Was on. Now, to the main subject. I think I would make a great secretary because I would bring the same motivation to the position. To show my school spirit, I like to create more events and games everyone can have fun participating in, along with winning spirit points for the class. I would also like to work on coming up with more ideas for games that we haven't done here at Cunha yet. More like, but don't worry, it won't be squid, like squid games. It would be more like the Cub games. I'm great at helping people with anything they need to vote for me for secretary. And remember, Cubs, your votes count. Thank you. Hi, my name is Stella Polanchek and I'm running for Cunha Leadership Secretary. I think you should definitely vote me for secretary for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm an organization freak and I think that's a skill I can bring to the group to keep them all organized. Second of all, I have great communication skills among staff and students and I always find a way to get things done. I also genuinely think I would be great at this position and I really want to be involved in community leadership and the school and making it a better place. And by the way, I'm sick right now, so I sound terrible. Thank you. Vote me for secretary. Hello, my name is Karis, as you probably already know, and I am running for secretary. I am an athlete and I'm on the local swim team. Some things I like doing in my free time are cooking and baking, organizing and watching fun shows and movies. I like being with people and hanging out with my friends. Now that you know a little information about me, I'd like to start off with my first point and why I may be good at this position. I have excellent leadership skills. For example, I'm the middle child of seven, so I'm pretty good with leadership. I'm a very organized person and I think it will be a very important skill set to have. I have a desire to serve students, teachers, and all staff. As secretary, I'm open to all opinions and suggestions from my fellow peers. I'm good at communication, whether it's emails, texting, or other forms of communication. I will work very hard to exceed your expectations and promise to satisfy all staff, faculty, and students. Lastly, I'm also very good at spotting details, and I have very good people skills, which would be perfect for a secretary. Thank you for your time, and please vote wisely. Natasha Dudash, and if you don't know who I am yet, well, I'm surprised. 
I was the person handing out flags and candy, and also the person who wore a poster to school. And I want to be your vice president. If you elect me for vice president, my goal is to, one, let the students be heard, and two, improve the school grounds. If we have to be here five days a week, we can at least make the school better. I wanted my speech to be about the, the students' voices being heard. So I went around school, got some students' opinions, and incorporated their ideas into my speech. Two of the most popular opinions I got was to have more snack options at the snack shack and to open the school restrooms at the C building. If we have a staff member standing outside the restrooms that we are currently using, can we have a staff member stand outside the C building ones if we decide to open them? Students that don't have classes near that area need to travel all the way across campus. On the topic of the C building, is it a time we use stairs for going up and down? For people who have classes at the opposite ends of campus almost every period, it wastes time. So let's just stop the limitation on the stairs. As for clubs, only a few clubs have started up this year and I want to start up all clubs next year, especially the Clean Campus Club. A popular suggestion I got is for all the students to clean campus at break at least one day a week. And I think it's a great idea. Our Earth is very polluted and so is our campus and I think we can do a big and great job to improve it. Speaking of starting things up, I came up with an idea of my own. Mondays are always the worst, but what if they don't have to be? I think we can start an activity on Monday to uh, make Monday more popular. I know what you must be thinking. Natasha, we already have spirit activities at the field. Well, that's on Friday, and it wouldn't be a spirit activity. You wouldn't have to sign up for it, you can just go there. Leadership could either host dodgeball, baseball, or kickball at the field every Monday. Most people said to have this idea on Friday, but Friday's already the most popular day of the week, and Monday, well, let's face it, everyone hates it. This concludes my speech, and I very hope, and I hope very much that you will vote for me. Know if you intend on voting for me, these options are not the only things that can change. More will change with your request. Oh, and don't forget to vote Natasha Dudash for vice president. A lot of people ask me, hey Camila, what do you bring to the table? Well, I am the table. Hi, my name is Camila Jimenez Mesa, and yes, Mesa translated to English is indeed table, but in all seriousness, what I bring to the table are my qualities, such as honesty, integrity, and courage. Just like all the brave people giving their speeches today. But my best quality is teamwork, and this is why I make the best candidate for the office of vice president. Teamwork will help all of the student council to accomplish a great year. This is important because I want all the students in Korea to have a great year because it's middle school, the most fun and important years of your life. And these are the years you're gonna remember as you grow up. It might even be a core memory. If elected, I want to make sure to consider every idea and make sure the president considers them too. I hope I can count on your vote. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lucas Pimentel and I would like to be vice president of the student council. I live in San Gregorio and my family has lived in this area for four generations. I went to La Honda Elementary School before coming to Cunha. The reason I would like to be vice president is because president is just out of my league. No, but the real reason I want to be vice president is I want to see you guys not just have a more efficient school, but an all around better experience. To be more efficient is for everyone to have their own locker because how many of us would love to have a place to keep our belongings such as books, PE clothes, and valuables. Okay, and I think we're old enough and responsible to chew gum in class, but if any of that stuff gets under a desk and you can't be responsible, then that will be taken away pretty fast. Things that uh, have affected me and probably everyone else is not having a bathroom closest to your class be open. I know that if we get them open, there's gonna be those people to mess it up and take it away from everybody else. So what I'm wondering is where are the yard duties at this time? I feel like we should have more supervision over these areas because I know having all the bathrooms open in this school would be amazing. All right, enough with the serious stuff. Let's get to the fun things such as variety of games during lunch, time and spirit activities because I've heard a lot of fun activities from my sister that I never got to experience and they sound way better than the activities we've been having this year. I have many more ideas and I hope to bring to this school. Um, this school is great but I will make it the greatest. Maybe unfamiliar with me.
me, my name is Catherine Auburn Mako, or you can just call me a cat, and I'm running for ASB president. And I bet some of you are already thinking, why would I want to vote for her? Well, let me tell you why. It's not about what I want for me, it's what I want for you. The only thing I want for me is to create a positive school environment where everyone's opinions are voiced. Since not everyone shares the same opinions, and different people disagree with different thoughts, by using my idea of allowing opinions to be heard, we can inspire creativity and new ideas. This could open so many doors. For example, it can make small but astonishing changes to things like spirit activities and many other things within the control of leadership, like the joke of the week. And I think the majority of us could agree that the joke of the week could use a little bit of help, just a little bit, you know? Another thing I'd like to do is find a way to open more bathrooms, since I know that many of you would appreciate that on a whole new level. Having most of them locked isn't fun when it feels like you have to run laps around campus just to find one that isn't locked. This isn't cross country, it's more like cross campus. So that can get pretty tiring after a while. So if you vote me for president, I will put all of my efforts into making as many things happen as I can. I want to make school a more enjoyable experience and give you something to look forward to during the week. Having an uncomfortable school environment isn't fun. So if you vote me for president, I will put all of my efforts into making as many things happen as I can. And again, this isn't about me. It's about you and what you want. Just know that Kat will have your back. I hope you enjoyed my speech, and if you did not, I hope you had a good nap. Vote for Kat! Hi, I'm Chester Collins, and I'm going to be Cunha's next student body president. And let me tell you why. First, I'm a natural leader, something I learned from playing sports with many of our classmates. That is why, as president, I hope to open the field during Spirit Fridays. That way, sports can be played every day of the week, even while spirit activities are going on. Second, I'm a hard worker, in class and after school. As president, I will work hard to get you what you deserve, such as a cleaner campus and a positive atmosphere. Third, I can lead great activities for everyone to enjoy and I will listen to what the students want. Fourth, I'm creative. That means new, fun, spirit days. It also means that I'm open to new ideas. As president, I will involve you guys as much as possible in making our school a better place. I want school to be a better place where everyone can have a good time, enjoy our dances, and have the best school spirit on the coast. And that is why I love to be Cunha's next student body president. Don't forget to vote Chester for president. Go Cubs, and good luck to all the other candidates. Hi, my name is Declan Lorenko, and I'm running for Cunha school president. First off, I would like to thank everyone for listening and watching this speech. I'm grateful to be given the potential opportunity to be the voice of the CUNY students. I believe there are two most important qualities in a CUNY president. One, school spirit. Two, compassion. Three, dedication. And four, knowing how to count. All jokes aside, we need to get serious. Our school is struggling and we as students are struggling. My plan is to help bridge the gap and bring light to the struggles that we have to deal with on the daily inside and outside of school. I want to help heal, inspire, and revive our school culture. CUNY needs a leader that will support, encourage, and help with CUNY students' social emotional needs. How I will help heal CUNY students is by talking with the students on how we can make class activities more inclusive so they don't feel left out. I will inspire younger students by being a role model that is kind, responsible, and educated. I hope these students will follow in my footsteps. And for how we will revive our school is by becoming a community that inspires others to be their best and to heal those who have been broken by others. I don't plan to make any unrealistic promises I can't keep. My plan is to be transparent, make it fun so we can enjoy the place where we spend 25% of our day at. Us, the kids who have been ripped away from our social roots due to the pandemic, have not had it easy. While things may never feel the same for a while, we will get there. Vote Declan for class president. Heal, inspire, and revive. Thank you. Pisquini. Ginny Pisquini. Um, who is Ginny? <laughs> what is Ginny? Why is Ginny? Am I Ginny? Are you Ginny? Um, is Ginny a noun? Is Ginny an adjective? I don't really know. But I've been told I'm Ginny. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
I don't know what it means. But I feel like we all secretly know what it means, but we can't put it in the words to describe it. You know, I'm reading off my script right now. That's just how prepared I am. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. I just improvise every little word I say. And I always, I'm just keeping my mind positive and thinking that, hey, what's the worst that could happen? Am I right? Am I right? And I've always been like dreaming of like being here, being here next to the Elin kid right now. And I did it. I'm finally here. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. And I did it. I think that we can all do things that we all want. We just had to put in hard work. And I think I've worked hard enough to be here. You know, I've, oh, I know, I know I'm here. See, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I like really good style, by the way. And I think this school should, could use some style, am I right? Uh, I'm really creative. And I think, I, just saying, just saying, cause like I hope no one forgets, but you should probably vote for me. And if I do vote, if you vote for me, that means like success, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's about success. Success doesn't exist. What am I gonna do after success? I don't know. And I'm okay with not knowing. What I do know is that you should vote for me. I'm running. I'm not running. I'm not running for president. I take full responsibility of this role. I'm not running for president. I am sprinting. I am running for my life. Ginny, stay winning. Hi, I'm Omar, and this is my presidency speech. I should be president because I can't get along with a lot of people. I am very good at speaking to the public. I have a lot of experience in running events. A problem here at our school is that people are often treated unfairly, and some people get punished more than others. I would make sure that people are treated equally and punished fairly. I will keep this school clean and joyful for everyone. I will make sure that sports and clubs at school are open to everyone. I will make sure that bullying is not a problem at our school. I believe that I can be president. I can really improve at our, our school. I am using this opportunity to have a motive to have good grades and to stay out of trouble. I am using this opportunity to improve our school as well, to make it a better place, a fun, smart environment, using positivity and kindness. I am very responsible and aware about problems at our school. I think if I win, I will be the shortest president in Cunha history. So vote Omar for president. Thank you.